guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about Call of Duty. Why? Well, as many of you may know, Microsoft is buying Activision Blizzard. Now, it hasn't closed yet. It's not supposed to close until like next year, June. But if it does, that would essentially mean that Microsoft owns all their franchises, including the big boy, Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty, like, it's in a league of its own, I believe, when it comes to first-person shooters or games in general. I mean, Cold War sold over 5 million copies in a month. So, Call of Duty is a pretty big juggernaut, like in the gaming industry, I believe. But the question is, will Microsoft make it exclusive after the acquisition is done? Now, I, I, I was watching Review Tech USA's video, and it, it would seem like, obviously, they have to adhere to certain contracts already made between, like, Activision Blizzard and certain other companies. Like, to give an example, I guess if Sony has a deal with Call of Duty until 2000, let's say, 23 or 24, then Microsoft probably couldn't even make Call of Duty exclusive until after the year 2023 or 24. But when they can, would making Call of Duty Microsoft exclusive actually help them? Or hurt them because I think this is actually a delicate situation and it's not as cut and dry as people may think let me ex let me give a couple scenarios here let's say when they can Microsoft makes Call of Duty exclusive to their console okay now what third-party game would take the mantle if any like it is possible that yes Call of Duty could really boost sales for I guess Xbox consoles and I really think if it's on game pass day one it could boost sales for subscribers or people just getting a certain amount of months to game pass like especially around the time call of duty comes out but would it hurt the call of duty sales itself most likely because you wouldn't be able to get the playstation sales for for the game and if call of duty itself started to become less popular because people who had like playstations and didn't have access to game pass or weren't going to get game pass aren't able to play it that could kind of backfire in microsoft's face i think but the other scenario and this one i actually prefer Imagine if, even when Microsoft can make Call of Duty a console exclusive, they don't. Instead, they simply say, okay, you can play Call of Duty on Game Pass day one. And then they allow it to still be third party. I think that'd be almost like a win-win for them because I think having Call of Duty on Game Pass day one would really increase people to like get certain amount of months for Game Pass or whatnot before or around the time Call of Duty comes out. And then... They would also, I believe, because they would own Activision Blizzard, get a cut from the sales, I believe, from all the Call of Duty games they're selling, even on other platforms. And I think that would really work, because I think it would really benefit Microsoft, because people would be subscribing for Game Pass. But I think the Call of Duty games could probably still maintain how much units they sell and how much people play them, because they would still be available on multiple platforms. Now, those are just my theories, like how it could go down. But truth be told, we don't even know yet because the deal still has to like end on June of next year, I believe, before it's confirmed that Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard. But I really think they need to be careful with what they do with Call of Duty if that does come to pass. Because it, I think it could be an epic fail or an epic win, depending on how they handle it. Anyway, do you guys think Microsoft would make Call of Duty a Microsoft exclusive? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.